Hey, YouTubers, this is Bruce Wilson coming at you. And uh, I, I just noticed this morning as I got in the office, or actually, I started looking yesterday, and I noticed that uh, in my office here, uh, it's kind of lopsided as far as Hot Wheel versus Matchbox and you know, Johnny Lightning and other, other brands. So I decided I would bring some Matchbox in. I'm going to open these up, and it's going to end up being four different videos, so it's not so long. Uh, but what I'm going to do is open up these five packs and be able to give you kind of a review of the cars that's in it. And then uh, when it's done, I'll add to the collection here in the office and kind of uh, the numbers won't be so skewed in my mind as far as my office uh, displays Matchbox versus Hot Wheel and that kind of thing. So with that being said, I'm going to start to the left. This will be the first video and then I'll make subsequent videos as time goes along. And be able to review all these cars so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and uh start with this uh it's called mbx road trip uh and this is the one that we'll be reviewing today so with that being said i'm gonna get into it and uh, i hope you guys are having a great day and, and being blessed I, I i'm fortunate uh I, i'm fortunate to be alive and be able to enjoy this hobby as much as i do it it really is something special to me. So with the first car coming up will be this wagon. Uh, I've always been a wagon kind of guy. I don't know if you can read that or not, uh, but you can tell that is one sweet, sweet, sweet car. I love the tint on the windows. That paint job is impeccable. Um, I just love everything about that car. That is such a sweet, sweet car. Uh, in my opinion, you just you, you don't get much better than that right there as far as the vehicle itself. Obviously, you know, it'd look cool with some real riders, and it, it'll probably end up with real riders on Ford's over, but to me, uh, that's just a beautiful car. I did this not to be uh, confused with a Chevy. This is actually a 1956 Buick. Uh, police car. Uh, the, the tampo work here is just phenomenal. Of course, I love, as far as an era of car, those wheels, uh, or rims, I should say. Couldn't, couldn't really match a car any better than that right there. Uh, again, lacking a little detail on the headlights and such, which will, will be put in, uh, but just to give you an overall view of the car, that sucker is nice. I just love it. And then here's one you don't see all the time. I'm not saying it's something rare or something very special or whatever. But to me, it's just uh, it just is a cool car. And that would be the Jaguar in this series. I'm going to flip this up a little bit so you can hopefully see the tempo work. Yeah, there you go. The tempo work on this is just impeccable. I love the collar of uh, this does have the the tail lights put in it uh, as you can see with a uh, name or i guess you call it a license plate but uh again th those wheels look pretty nice actually i love that uh, there's not a whole lot i could do to make this better obviously anything would be better with with real riders i'm not i'm not saying that it wouldn't uh, but man, if I put real riders on every vehicle I had, I'd have to get a third job. <laughs> then whether you're a Viper fan or not, uh, you got to give credit where credit is due. And when you think about the history of vehicles, uh, the Dodge Viper desolate definitely has its place there. Uh, this is kind of a plain car. There's, there's not really a whole lot of, uh, details on it. You see uh, the pipes coming out of the side, which is traditional. Uh, and then there is a tampo right there. I don't know if you can see it. My my lighting in here is a little too bright, probably. But being with the red collar, uh, they didn't do a whole lot. You can't even tell the red lights, you know, for for your tail lights or whatever. Uh, but there there's some black on, you know, for the covered uh, headlights and such. But I mean, it's a beautiful car. Uh, like I said, uh, the wheels could use some work, in my opinion, uh, which I guess that is neither here nor there. You can take my opinion or you can have your own. That's why we call this place America. <laughs> but uh, so, so far, I've showed you four really cool cars. But this, to me, is the highlight of the whole pack. Uh, well, 
if it's not first, it's a close second with the wagon. Uh, but this is a moon eye version of this truck. And, uh, boy, I tell you, that thing is so, so nice. I'm not a real fan of the grill being plastic. Uh, of course, I am going to put the headlights, uh, do some stuff with that, and maybe the, the badge. Uh, but this right here is, is the Moon Eye version. And these rims, I mean, it's a perfect match for this era and style truck. Uh, I'm thinking about maybe putting a, a toolbox on this one uh, and then doing something with the, the tail lights and headlights on this. But, I mean... If, if you're a Ford fan, uh, I don't see how you can't like this truck. It's really, really pretty cool all around. Uh, again, Matchbox does such a great job. Uh, so I'm going to set my camera down so and get one last look as I finish up this uh, video for the day. Hopefully, it'll come back and focus pretty quickly. Yeah, there we go. So I'm not a professional videographer. But I know some cool cars when I see it. And I think I just came on the five pretty cool cars. Uh, it's, it's really uh, cool to, to be able to experience this kind of stuff. And, and I, I don't know if you know it yet, but I get giddy when it comes to diecast. I just love, I love this hobby, man. I love the people that I've met in this hobby. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to many more years. Been doing this stuff for like 40, over 40 years, but I never get enough. So, man, I hope you guys are having a great day. It's Thursday. We're almost to the weekend, guys. So please be careful out there. Uh, enjoy yourself. Have a productive day. Love your family. And uh, I'll talk to you again real soon. We got three more five packs to go. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, uh, share it, like it, subscribe, all that, you know, all that stuff. I don't even know what I'm talking about half the time. But, uh, man, I appreciate you guys so much. If you ever need anything, please don't hesitate to get a hold of me. All right, this is Bruce Wilson saying peace out.